Can the square root of 2 be written as the ratio of two integer numbers p and q? Question mark. If so, we could square both sides and get 2 equals p squared divided by q squared and hence 2q squared equals p squared. Now let's count the number of prime factors 2 that are contained on each side. This has to have an even number of prime factors of 2 because any factor of 2 that may be present in q is appearing twice in the square. So this has an even number Oops. And the same is true, of course, for p squared. But on the left-hand side, there is an additional number 2, meaning the total number of factors of 2 on the left-hand side is odd and not even. So this cannot be true, and hence this can never be true. Now let's switch to the whiteboard mode. Let's add another page. Oops, this is a little huge. Let's shrink the size and navigate to the second page. Let's compute the derivative of the kth power. The trick is to write the kth power as e to the k natural logarithm of x. And now do the derivative, that's very easier. Now we can use the chain rule. e to the something becomes e to the something. No change in there. Times, now we have to form the derivative of k times ln x, which is k times 1 over x. I should be writing an English one here. Like that. So now we have to remember where this came from. This was x to the kth power. So that we have x to the kth power times k times 1 over x. Let's add another page. Go there. x to the k times 1 over x is x to the k minus first power times k 